Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to uh, auto generate your silk screen on your printed circuit board. All right, so here we have silk screen that is created and uh, it's kind of messed up or messy. And here is the PCB. How do you auto generate your silk screen? All you have to do is go to manufacture silk screen. Then there are some things you need to do here. For the board geometry, do you have any silk screen that's on the board geometry class? You want to set that, or maybe you don't. If you just want silk screen for your components, I might turn this off. For the component value, nope, not device type. I would just leave it for package geometry, silk. Now, what does this mean? This means that if you have a footprint for your uh, part where you have a text category called package geometry like this is what you would draw in your silk screen and if you're not sure how to do that you want to check out my video on how to add a package geometry silk screen class drawing or lines to your footprint so you want to make sure you have that for the reference designator silk screen category you want to make sure you have that as well make sure you check my video for the tolerance set to none use a part number set to none all right so allow under components no we don't want that for the rotation you could set them in as many rotations as you want just to give the auto silk screen generator more options to generate the silk screen if you fix it to say only zero degrees that's based on the current positioning of the text and it may not find space to auto generate the text so that it doesn't overlap with something else. So I'd leave these on and then I clean up uh, depending. Now, do I only want to do it for lines or text? Right now, I'm just gonna go with both because my package geometry silk screen usually has some lines in there or some shapes, but lines really. If you did it correctly, if you haven't checked my video. Now the reference designator, that's a text. So I choose both. Maximum displacement I say, hey, the most you can move it off of the original position by is 100 mils. So for instance, you see this yellow text here where it says S1? That is probably package geometry or something like that, uh, uh, or reference designator silkscreen top. But we're going to auto-generate a silkscreen text that copies this and puts it somewhere outside of this part. Displacement increment, maybe 35 mils. I'm actually going to set this to 10 mils just to give it a bit more. Um, in fact, I'll make this five. How do I know I'm in mils? I just click on this here and then it takes me to that. All right, so let's hit X. Manufacture silk screen. Okay, so what else do we need to set here? Clear solder mask pad. Uh, you should, but I just for the sake of to make this easy, um, I won't do that. Minimum line length. No, this is fine. Element to pad clearance, zero is fine. All right, I'm just going to do this on the top and I'll generate silk screen. Voila. Okay, see, it's being generated. It's working. Boom. Now it's ready. It's done. So here's what happened. We have manufacturing auto silk top. It found some way to, let's go in here. It found some way to look at the reference designator silk screen top, copy this text, and then generated manufacturing auto silk top this manufacturing auto silk top is what you need to put in your your uh silk screen layer and then how do you do that well let's just do a quick check if you don't know how to generate gerber files or uh, manufacturing files check my video on how to do that but go to export and then we'll look at gerber and then we look at silk screen top. Now in here, the silk screen top is gonna to look at reference designator silk screen top, package geometry silk screen top. And you know, all of that is appropriate, you know, that can make sense. But with this auto generation method, really we can cut these out. We can cut these out and let's right click add. Okay, let's right click add this thing. And what we just created was the manufacturing auto silk top. The manufacturing auto silk top is a combination of all these classes and subclasses. Now, when we cut this and then we 
recheck display for visibility boom voila it's created okay so now that you see what this looks like you can click OK, and this is where you make your modifications, right? You can uh, drag that right click, rotate, and then you can move your silk screen. Try to move it somewhere where you can see it, the text and whatnot. You can even uh, right click, change the text block to say one to make it super small if you need to. But really, all the text, uh, according to standards, um, if you're interested in that, all the text should be the same size. Although I don't always follow that, but yeah, all the text should be the same size. Okay, that is how you auto generate silk screen on your printed circuit board. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.